Do you remember those long, boring times where you had to go on a planet and patrol for materials and chests? It would take you hours to level up your exotics and your legendaries. Well guys, not any longer because now, the Crucible Quartermaster sells them for 10 marks you can buy 20 materials. Your spin metal, your relic iron, helium filaments and spirit bloom. Do you not like playing Crucible? No worries, also the Vanguard Quartermaster sells them for the same price. But of course, you need Vanguard marks instead of Crucible marks. This way, you will not have to farm on a planet anymore. If you liked farming on a planet, which I do not think or hope, you could still do that of course. And there's more ways to get some materials guys. Go to your bounty tracker, check out which bounties he has. As he has a patrol bounty for a particular planet. He will also grant you those materials. So now it's Venus, I will get 10 spirit blooms for it. So now you can really convenient to do bounties. You can also do a patrol where you can still search for spirit blooms or chests. And you can also do those patrol missions. Multitasking, the perfect thing for men. And now as well, do you remember those dirty and annoying bounty missions which were just filling your spots, you already had every exotic bounty gun available? I should get them now. If you have those three bounties in front of you and you've already done them, pick the one that you know is the fastest for you. Why you may ask? Well look at this, this is my thorn which I'm trying to level. For my last upgrade damage I need an exotic shard. What are exotic shards? Well you get those from dismantling exotic pieces. So here I have my spare plan C because I've got millions of them. I get an exotic shard because of uh, dismantling it this time. Is this the only way to get exotic shards? No way. You can also buy them for 7 strange coins from Sir. But we're not done yet. You can also get materials from the daily heroic. On level 20 you will get 10 spirit blooms. On level 24 you will get 12. On level 28 you will get 16 and you will still get the rewards you had before. You will still get your ascended materials and your engram. So sometimes this will be a really quick way to get those materials but sometimes it will be annoying. Hey, a blue engram. Blue engram? Blue engram? No! No! God damn it. Oh, we're moving on to the winter kill where we have destroyed him. We've actually managed to get some 16 spirit bloom. Because again, this one is on Femus. I'm getting so much spirit bloom in this episode, it's not even funny. Well, here we go. Let's see if we get the spirit bloom. Oh, sweet, a legendary engram. Well, it does not say the spirit bloom. Okay, um. Shit, now let's see. Go to this clip and. Ah, oh, there. Oh, whoa, you did see it pop. They still haven't fixed that goddamn bug where you can't see what you get. Oh man, that's kind of annoying. Oh hey, that's my my blue engram. He found me. My true love. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please leave a like if you did and subscribe if you want more Destiny content and if you want to know what we got from the legendary engram. Well, I'm really curious. Let's see. Always do the blue engrams first. It gives you more luck. God damn it!